this topic, we're going to be looking at the body systems. It's actually introducing proteins in our body and enzymes. Life on Earth ranges from simple, single-celled microorganisms like bacteria to us, multicellular complex organisms. Our bodies need to help to maintain our everyday lives. So otherwise, our bodies would not be able to cope with life's everyday needs. We need to understand simply cells and proteins before we can understand what an enzyme is. So our body is made up of systems. Some body systems in biology that you will be learning are the circulatory system, the digestive system, and the excretory system. In the circulatory system, you can see it's made up of the vessels and the muscles that transport the blood and the materials around the body. The organs that are responsible for the circulatory system include the heart, the lungs, the blood, and the blood vessels. Our digestive system. Now, the human digestive system is a complex, complex series of organs and glands that process food. These organs in the digestive system include the stomach, the liver, the gallbladder, the small intestine, and the large intestine. Digestion actually begins at the mouth. Your mouth actually produces saliva and the saliva is, has actually enzymes in it to actually start the digestion. And then it goes down to the stomach. With the stomach, it sort of churns your food. It doesn't munch like your teeth but it churns your food and it actually produces acid to help break down your food. The liver and gallbladder also help produce bile and this bile helps to break down the fat. The small intestine actually starts to absorb all of the nutrients from your food and the large intestine absorbs most of the water from your food. All the rest actually goes out through your anus. Now the excretory system. When you think excretory system, you may actually think about only um, your rectum. However, it's not just feces. You actually excrete sweat, urine, and mucus from your body as well as feces. So it's made up, it performs the function of excretion of discharging wastes. Now there are several parts of the body that are involved in this process, such as sweat glands, the liver, the lungs, and the kidney system. We'll be focusing on the kidney system in biology, so I'll use that in this topic. Our body system is made up of organs, and these organs are made up of tissues. Now, when I say tissues, I'm not meaning the tissues that you blow your nose with. As you can see here, we've got an organ system. These are made up of organs, and organs are made up of specialized tissues. Each tissue is different in their function. So for example, lung tissue is like a balloon that can be inflated and deflated. It's a very soft tissue. Bone tissue is dense and we need it to be dense so it's able to support our body weight. Without bones, we would be a mess on the floor. Each tissue is made up of tiny cells and these cells are also specialized depending on the tissue that it makes up. So bone cells have a special structure to make them strong. Skin is another organ made up of skin cells and it's actually a very important organ. It's quite special in the fact that it's tough yet soft. If we were to poke our skin, we can't actually penetrate our skin. So it keeps all of our organs and our body intact. Each cell specializes to be able to perform its function. Cells contain our DNA. Now our DNA makes what you and I, how we are different. So it's very special. They are very specific for their own function. So to be able to function, they must make proteins. What are proteins? So proteins build, maintains, and replaces the tissue in your body. Your muscles, your organs, and your immune system are made up of mostly protein. This guy's muscle here is made up of mostly protein as well, and it's able to perform the function of being able to exert energy. 
So your body uses the protein that you eat to make lots of specialized protein molecules that have specific jobs. And what it actually does is when you take in protein as food, your body can break down the protein into individual components. And then with these individual amino acids that it breaks it down into, you can make your own proteins to utilize in your own body. So for instance, your body makes hemoglobin, which is a protein. Hemoglobin is the part of the red blood cell that actually helps you carry oxygen around the body. Our body synthesizes protein within each of our cells, but we can also consume protein. Sources of protein include meat, cheese, milk, and fish, and eggs. Whenever you consume, consume these foods, they are extremely high in protein and give you that fullness factor. Our body recycles animal protein and can use the building blocks to make proteins that we need in our body. Now, if you're vegetarian, do not worry. You can also get protein from other sources like nuts or legumes. Where can we get protein? These days, we can also get protein from protein powder, which can also be vegetarian. You can even get it from pea protein these days. You will see that bodybuilders tend to have a high protein diet. And what it actually does is it helps build up your body muscles after you have done a workout and it replenishes your muscles that have worked out. So it actually helps them repair and even build up in size. Proteins are made up of hundreds or thousands of smaller units called amino acids. This is very important to understand. So proteins are a larger molecule made up of tiny molecules of amino acids. The amino acids are attached to one another using peptide bonds and then they're attached to one another in long chains. So there are only 20 different types of amino acids in your body and you'll be learning about this in your biology course. The amino acids can be reused to make proteins in your body that need to maintain your muscles, your bones, your blood and body organs. How are proteins related to enzymes? Well, all enzymes are functional proteins, but not all proteins are enzymes. As you can see in this diagram here, we have got a protein molecule here, which is a long chain of amino acids. Each circle represents an amino acid and each line here connecting it represents a peptide. So it becomes a peptide chain. The protease there is an enzyme and this enzyme helps with digestion. As you can see here, we eat a, say for example, meat, which is high in protein. And this protease actually helps break down these amino acids into their original form. Enzymes make life possible. They are a catalyst to help speed up reactions within our body. For this reason, they are known as biological catalysts. Examples include respiration, photosynthesis, and especially digestion. If we didn't have enzymes to help us with digestion, we wouldn't be able to break down food and absorb its nutrients as efficiently. Everything that is alive contains enzymes, both plants and animals. And that concludes our body systems. Next, we're going to go into more about enzymes. Thank you.